Hey everyone, it's Atrix Media. Today I'm going to be showing you how I created this picture in Adobe Photoshop. Atrix. So in this edit we're just going to be taking pictures of objects that we find around the house and then cutting them out and then putting them all into one document, into one picture. So you won't have to buy any stock images for this edit. Now I staged this like an editing station, but you can do it however you'd like using whatever objects you want. Make sure you lock off your camera onto a tripod so each picture is taken from the same position. Take an individual picture of each object or element that you want in the final edit. Notice how I'm holding each object according to how I want it to be positioned in the final edit. This will give you the most accurate lighting on your objects. Then take a picture of a clean slate with nothing in it. In Photoshop, cut out your object using the pen tool. I use the refined edge brush tool to cut out hair. Now drag and drop your subject onto the clean slate and repeat the same process for all of your objects. Place all your objects in front or behind each other accordingly. To do this, drag layers above for in front and below for behind. You can use Puppet Warp to even change the position of each limb of your subject. Once you have everything cut out and placed where you want it, it's time to start painting shadows. You can do this by selecting the object, adding a new adjustment layer, adding exposure layer, create a clipping mask by holding option and click, and then bring down the exposure. Then invert the layer using command I. Select the exposure layer mask, make sure your foreground color is white, and then with a soft brush you're just going to paint in those shadows. Then I duplicated the subject layer, rotated it, and then created a layer mask for it, inverted the layer mask, and then used a soft brush to paint in a reflection off the surface of the table. And I did the same thing for all the objects that were floating above the desk. To create more of a shallow depth of field, place some of the objects closer to the camera, then right click on the object and convert to smart object. Then go to Filter, Blur, and then Box Blur. The closer the object is to the camera, the more blur it should have. Then I selected the Clean Slate layer and went to Filter, Blur Gallery, and Tilt Shift. For the Drop Shadow, I created a new layer above the Clean Slate layer. Then I selected the Gradient tool and created a black to transparent gradient under the subject on the floor. Once I was happy with the way that it turned out in Photoshop, I brought it into Lightroom for the final touches. And that's it guys. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. I will be making more of these videos in the future. And if you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments. I'll try to get to as many as possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.